Well, gotta say, we are pretty much done with wrapping up these gifts. And pretty much, just look at that. It's a secret surprise. And pretty much, I'm gonna take these to the West Creek Ranch on Friday because we are having our secondary uh, white elephant Christmas party Friday after work and stuff. But anyway, it's going to be pretty fun. Well, I spent the last couple of hours getting this place clean, getting the bathroom clean. And yeah, going to go ahead and take you off and let you see the bathroom. And evidently, just nice and clean. Just look at that. Floors look great. Yeah, it smells good in here too. Got a nice air freshener, as you may know. That right there. So, yeah. Just getting the bathroom and living area nice and clean. And because of an incident that took place with one of my roommates on his side of the house, he pretty much left his whole bathroom in a mess, pee stains everywhere, and pretty much, well, it was on the floor, and it was gross. And pretty much, uh, his mom's like, oh, you know, there was sewage back up in there, and I'm like, really? Come on. One lie after another. And besides that, if there was sewage back up, there would have been a big mess on the floor. So, pretty much... There was no backup in there. And plus, we don't even have sewage problems. I don't know why she would say that for, but she said it. I mean, this place is well maintained and they keep all the lines treated and maintenanced really well. And so far, we don't have those type of problems. Speak of the devil, he's already home. But, yeah, anyway, we've stayed busy. We got in the door, and I just went straight to the restroom, and I was cleaning like no tomorrow. Just, I'm tired already. And plus that one guy didn't help, and... That one other guy that I was saying that peed on the floor and stuff and left all his pee stains everywhere. Now he was gone to work and maintenance came in because he was having trouble with his uh, problem with the uh, plumbing and his bathtub and stuff. You know, he came in and he said, Oh, it reeks in here. It smells like somebody peed on the floors. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, now we're getting in trouble because of that. But, anyway... Just be glad when his restroom gets fixed. And that way he can leave our restroom alone. Now if he's gonna pee on the floor and you know the inspector comes in and bad reviews us that makes everybody in here look really bad. I mean, kind of feels like we live in a pigsty, but we shouldn't live in a pigsty. You know, and I remember what my dad told me. He said, hey, you know, 
you better keep your home clean. Keep that apartment clean. You don't let it get into this position where it's a pigsty and well, you don't do that. But, you know, people that live in a pigsty live in a bad environment. Well, a not healthy type of environment. But I don't mean to judge. But, you know, if you see something and you know what needs to be done, get to it. Now, if you see something, do it. Like clean your room or do whatever you need to do. But yeah, you need to make sure that your room is clean, your bathrooms are clean, you know, and, and make it look a whole lot respectable. And plus, that goes a long way. And if you ever live in an apartment and the landlord comes by, you want to show that good impression that you can maintain a clean environment. Because if you don't show that clean environment, they're gonna say something to you. And it could be a warning shot of, you know, trying not to get evicted and stuff. Or they might evict you, I don't know. I mean, apartments these days, you never know what they could do. But anyway, so yeah, just got to be careful. Keep your place clean at all times, your room, your bathroom. No, just keep it clean. I mean, do the best you can. And... Anyway, whew, well, I'm tired. I worked on that bathroom. I worked on my place of living. 9.55 in the evening. I know it's getting close to bed. Uh, got two more work days. And then it's off to the ranch for the weekend. Just cannot wait. But anyway, changing the subject, uh, we do have a Christmas series for horseback riding adventures coming out Saturday morning at 9.30. And pretty much we will have our Christmas episodes. And yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Get to have fun. And got that Christmas party we have Friday after work. So that's going to be even more better. Go out to West Creek and be on the ranch. And then let's see. Well, the season three premiere of Horseback Riding Adventures is... The week of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, which that's pretty cool. Oh, I love the Stock Show and Rodeo. I think I'm going to get me some tickets to go over there and watch these cowboys ride the horses. Oh, I love that. I'm a Texas rider and stuff, and I absolutely love horseback riding. It's fun. And plus out there, good old West Creek, it's where the series Horseback Riding Adventures is, you know, and me on horseback riding Pecani or any other horse that's out there. But anyway, just absolutely love that boy. Every time I look at these boys and girls, I'm reminded of the San Antonio Stock Show at Rodeo. And my series here on YouTube, which every 
every year we're going to have at least two seasons. Seasons three and four are coming in 2025. And, well, so far, 2026, they're going to be busy. I mean, I tell you. And shoot, I mean, President Trump is going to be in office before too long. And, you know, it's going to be really good to finally have him back in office and Boy, just make our country great again and people that go out and ride horses and have a good time and this and that, they'll be really good. Mm. So yeah, I think the first home opener for the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo this year Coming up is February 6, 2025. It starts at 7 o'clock at the AT&T Center here in San Antonio. And I think that is a Tuesday, I believe. Or a Thursday. I think it's between one of those days. When the home opener is. Just absolutely love it. And go out and watch these boys. These are cowboys and cowgirls that ride these great horses. Just absolutely love it. It's entertaining and just makes me more and more by each and every day, me being a cowboy. And that's exactly what I am. But anyway, uh, well, it's 10 o'clock already. And y'all knowingly, I think it is time to call it a night. And we did a lot. We still have a little bit more here in this room to work on. I know uh, we got until tomorrow to get everything finished. Just... Couldn't get everything done, but evidently everything is good in here. So we got pretty much, uh, we got pretty much everything looking good. It's still a little ways to go. But anyway, it's looking good. We're keeping this place clean. Oh, what is that? I'm starting to feel something. Yeah, a little dry dirt and stuff. Yep, that's what it is. Now, yeah, just got me one of these. Ferrero Rocher. It's, it's really good stuff. It's like a, a chocolate ball with these nuts. And then, well, you guys don't know what these are. These are... Something I'm going to be taking up to the ranch. And a little, little Christmas gifts for the White Elephant Christmas Party. But, yeah, anyway. Well, I think we are pretty much good for this evening. Uh, we're going to go ahead and probably have a drink before we go to bed tonight. Got a little cherry Pepsi and stuff, so we could probably have that. Just sit down and relax a little bit. And I gotta say, just work your tail end off for at least a few hours trying to get that bathroom cleaned. Trying to get my place to live in. Nicely cleaned. So, gotta say, just happy we get it done. But anyway, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
just absolutely love the Christmas lights. Now, we are thinking about going to Windcrest this year. Look at the beautiful displays, or we may have some displays uh, over somewhere over there, but anyway. Also, for West Creek Trail Rides, I got them a new spiral notebook that I'll take to them on Friday. And that way, they can write down the phone numbers and... You know, they, I mean, especially if they have like rider reservations, they could write it down and like right here and all this other stuff. But yeah, anyway. So, cheers. Hmm. <sighs> Tastes like real cherries in here. Yep. So yeah. It's gonna be another cold night tonight as well. But I know we're happy that it's Thursday tomorrow. We got Friday, then off to the ranch. Can't wait to see my boy. Just absolutely love it. You know, when I look at Picani, he's just such a great boy. He's a good boy. My friend. You know, my best friend, that is. And I ride him, and I just feel like, you know, it's been two years after... The loss of Benny. And the wrong path that he chose. And knowing that... That evil had won him over and all these things. It... It, it was giving me nightmares. Every night just thinking about what he did. And I said, yeah, you know what? It's time to move on, and it's time to find something better. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm happy with it. You know, I've got two great jobs. I've got a beautiful home. And so far, it just feels good. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to work my hardest and I'm going to keep this place running. You know, pay my bills and survive. And that's exactly what I'm doing, guys. I mean, when you're in an apartment, you got to pay rent. You got to pay all your bills. I mean, on one paycheck, but the next following paycheck, well, heh. <laughs> You don't have to worry about that because you can save money doing that. But yeah, we got next year's rent for 2025 to start. I got to work on that check and plus the electric, the Wi-Fi and all the other stuff we got in here.
but just good thing we don't have water because that's charged onto our rent and stuff. But yeah, it is. Well, I'm going to finish my drink here. And we're about ready to get going to bed. Mm. Well, go ahead and start getting ready for bed.